entire nation in a few days. In peace, this incredible energy opens limitless horizons. The history of science fiction is also the history of a history. Empowered by man's careless use of atomic weapons, Godzilla, king of the monsters. There's always a thread of optimism and of faith in and excitement in science, and there's always a, a, a level of fear. When you have something going on like fear of nuclear war, you get things like the science fiction of the 50s, invaders coming in from outer space, or technology becomes a dangerous tool. Uh, when you get more optimistic eras, we're seeing things like Arthur Clarke, stories that are intended to be informative or to get people excited about the process of discovering new knowledge. Science fiction is rarely trying to actually predict the future. Instead, it's trying to use the future as a way of looking at the present. What's good, what's bad. And a side effect of that is that science fiction does create a spark for people and does get them going thinking about, well, how could I make that world? Or how could I you know, prevent the bad world? <laughs>